Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 21, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, 22, sorry. The last episode I said was level uh, episode 20, 20, but it was really 21. So this is episode 22, um, which means the episode that I thought was going to be 20 was really 21, and I was going to do something special for 20, but it happened to be 21. But it's still the same, and it works all the same. So something new that's happened here recently the new mod pack for FTVs come out and it all basically had the same if not more mods than the mod pack that or the mods that I was playing so I um, ended up just porting over there the only thing that it doesn't doesn't have is Ars Magica and I didn't really enjoy Ars Magica at all so we basically just left that out and whatever's in the world gen that's happened is either gone or the buildings are still there but just no magic inside them. So in the last episode we made this super pickaxe. Uh, off camera I made this master smelter just because I was playing around and having a lot of fun. Also I made this sword. Um, it's got fire aspect for 25 seconds. Let's just have a quick look. 25 seconds. Sharpness 1, I think that is, and full luck. So that's looting 3. Um, what we're going to do here is, just to make this a little bit faster, give this another modifier, and then we're going to max it out on redstone. Again, so this is 3 levels of haste. I need 5 redstone. In the last episode, you would have seen that these weren't 50 redstone because I only used blocks, but now they are all the way up at 50 redstone. So, let's just jump in over here. We'll put this redstone away. And I think today... Well, one thing that I'm going to show you guys is I've semi-automated this, but not really. I've added an extra pattern provider in here because some of the uh, the patterns have changed so I've added a new pattern provider and some of the uh, things aren't quite working the way they should be but that's fine for now I've just grabbed a uh, texture pack because I didn't have one just on before and it was annoying me a little bit but most of these things are going pretty well so you can see we've got all our biomass going, biomass is going in here. One mod that wasn't in this texture pack was energy converters or power converters by um I don't remember what his name is, but energy converters wasn't included in this mod pack, which is a bit upsetting, but it's nothing too special. Um so over here I was trying to get some lapis queens and I failed quite well at that. But I am in the process of getting myself some industrious drones. So we should be good soon on the bees. Um, one other thing I want to show you guys is my UU matter production. I now have like 2100, so 2100. Um, that's slowing down a little bit because my quarry is not going at the moment. And I don't have a whole lot of dirt and cobble and stuff. That old cobble's coming from my coal production down there, but it's not quite large enough. Um, as you can see, I'm getting vines and stuff from those trees, all this rubber and stuff, all the parts from the sludge. Um, this thingy, I'm not sure if it's running at the moment, it is. And now it's running there, yeah, you can see. Um, they all come down here straight into the chest. The chest pulls it out and it goes that way. Um, so I'm just going to make sure everything's running pretty smoothly here. See our mass fabricator's got maximum amount of energy. We've got two ultimate hybrids here. And these, instead of producing them with buildcraft power, is now just with EU. And if you jump in here, straight EU into both of them. So I'm just going to have a quick break here, guys, and join you guys in just a second. Welcome back, guys. I'm just grabbing some glowstone here. I've actually run out at the moment back at base so I'm just going to grab some of this glowstone in the nether here. 
I think I'm just going to need about a stack, so it's not a whole lot that I need to grab. But it's enough that it's relatively annoying to grab, especially being up in the air like this. And the fact that I'm a bit derpy on the controls today. I haven't played Minecraft in a little bit recently. Um, I've had a fair few more exams at uni. I had a supplementary exam last week. And my internet's been down a little bit lately. That's why I haven't got many videos out. But I've got a fair few stacked up at the moment. So that's not a bad thing, I don't think. So I'm just going to cut here guys, find a few more pieces of glowstone and I'll join you guys back over there at the base. Welcome back guys, so there's just a few with the skeletons over here and I want to see if I can grab a quick head without dying. It seems I don't think I got any with the skeleton heads there but, no I didn't. Okay, but that's fine, that was totally worth the try, especially seeming soon I'd like to take on a wither. But I think I'll have to find a better way to do it. So, I'll see you guys when I return back. And we're back guys, so we just finished up pretty much with all that glowstone dust. So we're just going to chuckle that glowstone dust in here. We're out of some glass at the moment, so we'll just grab a stack of that. And hopefully that chucks in here. And it is. So, let's make up a one last pattern, I think. We should have more than enough now. So because we don't have any power converters anymore, I think we're going to make electrical engines. So if we encode that, we're going to need the recipe for a tin gear. We can do those ones easy. Chuck these in. And then, can we make these at the moment? I actually have a fair few. Let's make another 10, I think. So we do actually have all the things to make. We still have three clear drives here. And there's our tenth one. So let's just make a quick journey over to our quarry. <coughs> oh, one other thing that we don't have in this mod pack is backpacks. But that's quite okay with me because... Tinker's Construct has this knapsack and we're missing a few textures but that's fine I'll fix that in between this episode and the next episode but as you can see knapsacks it's pretty good there So I'm pretty sure the quarry is over this way. It is, and it seems... How far down are you, quarry? Don't have any blocks on me, that's fine. Okay, so we're nearly done, basically. Um, so it's probably about time that we move that quarry anyway. Getting a bit of lag on the way up here. Just grab out a wrench. We'll just have to use this broken textured gravity tool, but that's fine. Um, so we're gonna go chuck this. Where can we put it? I went a bit crazy with the lamps over here because I was AFK because I didn't have it loaded properly. But now it's loaded quite well. I think we'll just go with another small one just over here, I think. Is that about right? Perfect. Okay, so we're going to need the ender chest on the top. Now we're going to need some conduits. Grab our engines. We'll place these down real quick. That one's not going to work.
then we're going to need our wrench once again, a broken textured wrench. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to reach that. So let's just break all these top ones. Just wrench all these ones over first. And then we'll place these back down. We can put this away. Grab our levers. We have just enough. missed one here so we'll just wrench this one one last time I'm not exactly sure where my Omni tool is but that's fine I could have just used that instead and then we're gonna need to grab some electrical wire do the same thing over here and then lay down some power real quick I'm not exactly sure how much power it needs so we might have to go make a few more of these once we get over there or maybe not fine with this amount. Yep, I think we have more than enough power here and this should be starting to start again. And I'm pleased enough with the speed of that so I think we'll leave it as it is. Um, and I'm also happy with how fast that's digging. So I think we're pretty good on most fronts here. I think I'm just going to head back to base at the moment. And then we'll move on from there. See you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, just killed this skeleton. Um, not exactly sure what this is. Or what part of mod it. Oh wow. So it's got some glow flower bread, knowledge fragment. This is quite a good AR. Uh, I know, it just seems like another backpack. I'm just trying to see what the uses for this are. Or the recipe, which seems there aren't any, so... That's kind of cool, I guess mobs drop stuff now, so... Yeah. Um, what I'm thinking about doing today... See if there's a way we can create some feathers. There is not. Um, today I wanted to sort of move out of the, f the age where I have to go through the nether and eight feathers seems like a lot of feathers so we can probably do that I wanted to get into some miscraft stuff so I'm gonna get myself all sorted and then I'll join you guys in just a moment welcome back guys so there's a few things that we have to do before we get into the miscraft stuff that I wanted to do and as you see here this is what we're gonna need so we're gonna need an ink mixer which I do not have any glass bottles so we'll just grab a few of them, chuck them in grab ourselves an ink mixer we're also going to need a few ink files so we just had glass bottles so I don't know why that didn't work unless they're different, oh it has to be water I think I have some water as well That's not going to work. Will still water work? Nope. Okay, so let's grab some buckets. Let me 
miss that last bucket, but I probably don't need as many as I got, just for good measure. Put all these back in that AE system. Grab out a few buckets, a few ink files. So now that we have these, we're just going to place them out here for the moment because they don't really have anywhere to live. We're going to need some paper, which I'm pretty sure I have a little bit. And hopefully I have some leather, which I do. So usually what you do to make yourselves a um, linking book now would be grab this link panel, put it with a piece of leather, that would give you a linking book. But what I'm going to do, because I want to be a little bit different, is to make a auto enchanter, wherever that is, auto enchanter, so we need a machine frame, and then we might be okay, need some more plastic sheets, and a reception coil. Grab that. So there's our auto enchanter. We're going to need some glass bottles again. And then we'll go back out here. Hopefully this works like this. Seems it does not. Um, do I have any liquid ducts on me? I do not. Um... Here we go. Lovely. So I'll grab our wrench. Do I have my Omni wrench in here? I don't, but I have this wrench. Does this wrench work? It does. Into there. Now we just need a lever. A lever. Is that filling up now? It is. Let's put this right down to about five, we'll place them in there, and all we need now is a solar panel and an engine, so let's grab an engine, we'll probably just get two, and a solar panel, which we have already, but we'll just make it a hybrid solar panel, and we'll just sleep real quick. As you can tell, I've gone back to the default texture pack just because a lot of the textures were missing for Mistcraft and it was annoying me a little bit. This setup just here is a little bit temporary because I haven't decided where my actual base is going to be yet. But I'm soon to, within the next episode I think, oops, that'll work. Within the next episode is what I plan to do. So we have... Oh, we need some more levers, so we'll just turn these on. This should go quite quickly, I believe. Not exactly sure how much power this takes. But I do know it can take EU, so let's not use these engines. Because that seems like a silly thing to do now. And we'll just place it straight with some EU. It's getting energy like a boss. And it's enchanting these bottles. So as you can see, it only takes 250 ticks to make these. And there's... Okay, so there's a bug, I believe. It can only take one at a time. So that's something in, for you guys to look out for. Not to lose all your bottles at once. Because not the bottles are expensive, but it's a little bit annoying to say the least. So now let's go over here. What we do is we want this panel to go green. It goes green for interlinking and it goes red for disarming. So if we place one of them in there, see it's red and black, or green and black. So the black's a whole lot longer than the green. So that means there's a higher chance of just being a normal linking book than it is to be an interlinking book. If we go over here, grab another one, place it in there, you're going to see the green's probably getting a little bit longer, and the black's getting a little bit shorter. So 
so I'm just going to sit over here, make a few more of these. I might go up a few levels. Let's make it 10. So let's hope this green's quite a lot longer now. Probably getting about 50-50 at the moment. So let's see if this one's done. Might chuck it up to 15. Just place a bottle in there. And I think this one will have a go now. So if we just pull this out, you see we get just a basic linking panel. So this is still useful. We're just going to make it into a normal linking book. It's going to be unlinked. So that's a normal linking book. I'm just going to take a break here, guys, and get some more bottles of enchanting going. And then when I'm done and I have a good enough... Uh, that thingy. <laughs> that's really bad words. Um, have a good enough linking panel. I'll join you guys. Okay guys, welcome back. So I've pretty much got it so that it's like 90% of the time it's green. So let's just click that out and have a look. There we go, we've got an intralinking book. And so what you do with an intralinking book is you put it there, grab a panel, and there you go, you have your unlinked intralinking book. So what I'm going to do in between this episode and the next one, I'm going to make a few intralinking books. I'm going to make one for here. I'm probably going to in the next episode go mining with you guys and scouting for a new base location so we can make a really nice base and then we will be able to um, do a cool cool uh, a few cool things with what we're doing um, so I think for this base I'm gonna have at least have like a miscraft room and we'll have one that's like a miscraft book to the nether and then the nether to the end the end back to the here um, then here to oh well the nether is going to basically be the hub so you'll have here to the nether nether to the end the end back to the ne nether and the nether over to our quarry and then back and all that sort of stuff so I think that's what we'll do and unfortunately, guys, we've run out of time. So I'll chuck this one in, grab that out, and we've got another interlinking panel. So that's quite awesome. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode or enjoyed the move to the FTB launcher, um, please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. As always, it really helps me out, and I appreciate your support. And if you're new to the channel, uh, I'd love you to subscribe and hang out. I've got lots of, I think, fair few cool things happening around the channel. That was a bit of a dud. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy the content, please check it out. And I'll see you guys next episode.